Hello everyone, this is Ben with Aphone. Today we're going to do a quick overview on door release on the LEF system, including wiring and operation. Before getting started, always be sure to use precautions when wiring any low voltage electrical device. Remove power to the devices before touching any of the wires or the interior components. For our setup today, we're going to use an LEF5 answering station and an LED door station as well as an RYPA door release relay. We also have a door strike in its power supply. First, we need to get access to the inside of the answering station. Use your fingernails or a small screwdriver to pry up the plastic card cover and the paper card. This will expose the screw or screws that hold the front and back of the station's shell together. Take care when you open the unit, since the two halves are still connected by wires. How we wire for door release will depend on the model of answering station. On most answering stations, including the LEF5 seen here, there will be an L terminal, then a set of numbered K terminals. The L is common, and which K terminals we use depend on our door station's channel. For example, if our door station is on channel 3, we would use L and K3. On an LEF3L answering station, Door release is handled by colored wires instead of terminals. White is common, and the colored wires represent different channels. Brown for one, red for two, and orange for three. So, if our door station was on channel three, we would use white and orange. For each door to be released, we need a separate RYPA relay. This is because the answering stations themselves do not provide a dry contact. The black wires connect back to the terminals or wires on the station, and the yellow wires provide the contact closure. These wires can be connected in series with the door strike and its power supply, or directly into an input on an access control system. For this example, we are going to connect door release for channel 1. So the black wires on our RYPA go to L and K1. If you have more than one answering station on your system, you just need to daisy chain the door release wires between the answering stations. So. L to L, and the numbered K terminals to their matching number. Once we have everything back together, let's see how it works. We receive a call, there is a brief chime, and the channel lights up. We select the channel, and then to unlock the door, we press the key button. Note that the door only releases for as long as the button is held. Once we're done, we can press off to end the call. If the door release needs to last for a set period of time, you can integrate it with a access control system or a third-party timing relay. One neat feature of the LEF series is that we don't actually need a door station connected to a channel to unlock a door. If we hook up the RYPA to L and K2 instead, we can select channel 2, hold down the key button, and still activate door release. This is useful for man traps or other applications where a door without an intercom needs to be released. It can also be used to activate third-party devices that aren't door release. And that's everything. Links to the LEF series section of our technical knowledge base are in the video description below, which contains manuals and wiring diagrams. Thanks for watching.